Welcome back to Talk of the Town. If you are a parent out there or are going to become one soon, you're going to want to listen up. Our next news partner is here from Spring Creek Family Chiropractic. Dr. Marsha Schaefer joins us once again. Welcome. Thank you very much. So I'm excited about this topic. We're going to talk about why parents should have their children checked by a chiropractor. So what a cool topic. So why do you think, why? What's the most common reason that parents bring their children to get checked by you? Well, there are two actually. One of the most common is trauma injuries. Those cause spinal misalignments and if those spinal misalignments are not caught at a young age, a lot of adults are walking around saying, oh, why, you know, why am I not feeling the way that I should? So that's one of the main reasons. Another is actually for symptoms. There are certain symptoms that bring a parent in uh, because their child, you know, colic, ear infections, asthma, allergies, bedwetting, constipation, and acid reflux. I am disturbed at the amount of kids that are on acid blockers, that you know, your inability to break down protein, which is what is happening with the acid blockers, you can't build immunity, you can't build your body, uh, you need those proteins. So a lot of those things respond incredibly well, and those are actually our highest referrals. Interesting. So are those the specific conditions that you're treating or are there others? Well, actually, as a doctor of chiropractic, I don't treat any specific symptom. Okay. Our goal and what we specialize in is the nervous system. So basically your brain and your spinal cord, your spinal cord is, is an extension of your brain. Um, we work on the spine to make sure that that, fun that functions the way that it should. I often tell my practice members, think of a puppy. If you step on the puppy's tail, the bark comes out the mouth. Well. Could you imagine you know, doing surgically removing the mouth or duct taping the mouth, or would you want to take the pressure off the tail? As a chiropractor, a lot of these symptoms can be the barking mouth, but the actual problem is the pressure that's on the tail. So as a chiropractor, I'm able to remove that subluxation or that pressure that's on that, that tail, helping wow. the body. It sounds much more impactful when you say <laughs> that it's an extension of the brain. It really makes you want to take care of your spine, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. Um, let's talk a little bit about having babies checked. You actually work with some babies too. So why is it important for babies to get checked early in life? Yeah, so babies are born and they have one curve, but adults have three curves in their spine. So, you know, babies are experiencing life different every single day. They're learning to pick up their head, crawl, walk, do all those things. Well, that's actually working on the muscles and the ligaments around the spine. And if there is spinal injury or subluxation in the spine, the spine's not going to start moving right in that area. So all of a sudden you're going to start noticing, why is my child crawling weird? Or why are they not functioning the way that they should? I know that maybe they're not developing the way they should. Um, the really, really neat thing about chiropractic is we really focus on the autonomic nervous system, which is basically, it's all about how you function, not how you feel. So that's why there can be asymptomatic things. It's really the autonomic nervous system that, you know, the things like your, your heartbeat and your lungs and all those kind of things that you can't control, we have direct uh, work with that. So, well, that neat. sounds, yeah, that sounds <laughs> neat. It sounds important. And you mentioned subluxation. So this is a term that we hear when we think about chiropractic care. Is there any research to show evidence of subluxation? Yeah, there are actually some medical doctors that have done research and they were looking at birth trauma. So as soon as babies are born, uh, Dr. Gutman found that there was actually 80% of the babies that he looked at had cervical subluxation or cervical strain, so up in the neck, um, mm -hmm. which is a really big deal. But you have right. to think about it. The birth process is kind of stressful for mommy and baby. Right. Um, one of his colleagues, Dr. Fryman, did a study with 1,250 babies uh, five days postpartum. So five days after the baby had been born, found that 95% of those babies had stress at the spinal in the, in the neck um, and found that a gentle adjustment actually helped their breathing, their color, their eating, a lot of those things. Now you have to understand that the adjustment for a baby is so significantly different than an adult. It's very, sure. very light pressure, right. so nothing like an adult. That's kind of a shocking statistic how many babies had basically a need for chiropractic care, but when you put it in those terms of the kind of thing they're going through coming into this world, <laughs> it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, how does a parent know if they, their, their baby needs to be checked? Well, in an infant, you can see um, if the baby always is turning to one side. You know, if they only, with breastfeeding, if they only want to latch more on one side than the other. Um, if they have, a, if, if you've been told that your baby needs a um, helmet, uh, that's another option or another, another sign of subluxation. Um, also, if you've been told that your baby is super strong, that they pick their head up way too early, um, or that they're arching their back, they're trying to stand, that's a huge sign of dural tension. Your dura is what surrounds your brain and your spinal cord, so that is very, very necessary to get checked. 
in an older child, one that can stand, have them stand, look at their shoulders. Is one higher than the other? Is their head rotated a certain way? Can you see you know, that their hips are, are off? All those are great signs that they should be checked by a pediatric chiropractor. Wow, okay, so things that you would never, I would never have thought of. Very interesting, you, your baby is stronger. You think, well, great, perfect, right. wonderful. I got a strong kid. Well, there might be actually a problem there. So right. interesting things. So lots of little tips to kind of look out for. Or you can just get Dr. Marsha a call because mm -hmm. she'll help you out. So thank you very much for joining us and giving us all those tips and tricks and um, some interesting statistics too. So much appreciated. You're welcome. All right, this is Dr. Marsha, our news partner with Spring Creek Family Chiropractic. We have more talk of the town for you coming up after the break, so please stick around.